What's up everybody? Welcome back. We're up here at the river today doing some fishing. See what we can catch. Up in the mountains, it's cool today. It's like 69 degrees, 68. You can feel it. I talked to another guy on the road and he said he ain't really caught nothing today, but there's so many people everywhere on the way up here. I mean like four different spots I wanted to stop. I couldn't fish because somebody was sitting there hanging out in the sun. Well, we're going to fish here. We're going to see what we can catch. Maybe we'll catch some, some smallmouth, bluegill, small bat. I don't know what we'll catch. Who knows? I'm just trying to catch something. Get outside. It's beautiful out here. We got to go fish. All right, guys, let's get it. Let's go fish. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's get started here. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful campsite. Look at this place. This place is awesome. It's a deep hole over there. Nice, pretty well taken care of camping, you know, fire pit. Considering to be in the mountains, most of the time there's beer cans and bottles. And I mean, this place is pretty, pretty nice. All right, let's get tied up, tied on here. I'm about throwing this little grub, but I think I'm just gonna throw what all river fish like to eat, and that's some little bug on the bottom. Something bouncing across the bottom. Water looks pretty clear on the green pumpkin. light the thing is with these river fish you've got to use a light line which well what i mean is is like clear water fish like that water is that clear you've got to use light line i use fluorocarbon coated fluorocarbon coated it's fluorocarbon coated line by p lines what i use actually and it works pretty good most of the time type of creature bait which tackle warehouse these things that i fish here these little cheap things tackle warehouse has a sale and i don't know if they still do and i bought a ton i bought like 200 300 of these things where these are on sale for like 90 cents a pack you get 10 in each pack so i bought a ton of them i literally spent like over a hundred something dollars we saw these guys right here because they catch fish and i try to keep it simple when i'm fishing i think the most you gotta you know some things just work around the board and these things right here work all around the board bass just can't resist these if there's a bass in there and he's not froze to death due to getting down to like 30 degrees last night he's gonna hit that He's going to take advantage of that one. Look at this delicious looking thing. I'm just going to eat it. So I thought I seen something big hovering around in there earlier. But I wasn't sure. It's hard to see in there, to be honest. I'm going to slow things down. I think I see a fish. Yep, okay. there he is. Or is that a snack? Is an insta snag. Can't believe I thought that was a fish. Damn, I'm getting rusty. There it is. I just instantly snagged that. I was like, oh, it's a fish. And I'm like, it must be the world's most heaviest fish because he is not even fine. He ain't even trying to fight me. It's weird because so many years ago, the river just flowed through here and people used to stack the rocks in here to, to kind of make this a pool. To where they could like just hang out in the water here and literally by them stacking those rocks over a course of years it's actually created a dam and made this so deep i mean it's crazy how different this looks than it did over the course of the years of me coming here let's see if we can go along this rock i don't want to get in the water i don't see any fish in there There's no fish in here. Seems like I could see a big one cruising around. Hanging out by the bottom or something. Trying to take it easy through here, guys. What a cool spot this is, though, guys. Let me move you up just a little bit. That was... 
up on that rock looking down earlier. Now I'm more level to the water. I think it sucks. It's freezing. I mean, like, epically cold. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I wish I had my waders on. Yeah, that's a deep hole. It's a smallmouth chilling back there. He's probably spawning or something. Look how cool this place is. Man, I ain't been up here in like a long time. Damn it, there's a deep, deep hole up front of me. I mean, I don't even see the bottom right there. That's crazy. That is deep as shit. What is my little rat? There he is. That is deep as hell in front of me. I mean like, y'all see the rock here? It drops off, I can't even see the bottom right there. Eerie deep. <laughs> That's scary deep. I'm like, whoa, why is that so deep? That cold front last night, man. A little damn front. Boy, this water's cold. This mountain water is always this cold, but it feels extra cold because it's 68 degrees outside. I wanted to walk on up, and I will come back and walk up this. The weather's a little warmer, and I don't have so much money in my car. I have so much fishing gear in my car. If I lose it, I'm gonna be, I mean, I've got a thousand dollars worth of tackle in a crate. So I gotta head back to the car. We'll come back here, guys. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep fishing, of course, but I come up here to see if the road was still washed out and it's not. And I realized, I was like, I got all that stuff in my car. I'm just gonna hang around the side of the road. I'm gonna go hike back in anywhere. And I come up here and I was like, I'm gonna walk down here for a minute. See what's up. So I come down here. It's not bad. It's not great either. I didn't catch anything. But I didn't really give it enough exploration to see what's going on. All right. Back over here to this spot. I've been wanting to get here all day, but there's been here like, every time I come by here, somebody's here. So I don't know how it's gonna be. Kind of like, I don't know about today, guys. I just don't know. My honey hole has probably honeyed its way out. But who knows, we may catch some fish. I'm a little weary, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be lying if I was, was saying that. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All I know is I'm probably gonna get snagged up and I'm gonna get pissed because I've gotten snagged up like. Yeah, look at that. It's annoying. Just tied on. <sighs> I'm getting irritated. I've lost four mushroom heads today. That's like six dollars. Put in a different color. I got more black. All my green pumpkin ones, I'm about out of them crazy how a spot will look so fishy putting in just a few weeks it won't look like there's a damn fish in it they all moved to Mexico or something they all just take off go back to hiding I guess they were spawning or something maybe it's just people because more as it warms up more people come up here maybe that's it I don't know I liked where I cast it earlier but damn it for the snacks just want to fish we're working hard today for a fish and it's just there's one god finally finally guys I got a fish I want that drag out just a hair he's tiny 
but I'll take him. He's tiny, but I'll take him. He ain't big, but I will take him. He's the biggest smallmouth I ever caught. I've fished all day for this guy. Been trying all day to catch this fish. There we go. I've been fishing all day. I know it. Oh man, look at his back. He's got some kind of he got jacked up. Looked like he caught a jerk bait or something. But I've been fishing all day for this fish. Been all over the river. Finally come to my old honey hole. It don't look so honey anymore. It doesn't have the fish like it did. But hey, we might find a bigger one in there. Let's let this guy go. Let's get him back in the water. Let's get this little smallmouth back. He's been looks like he's been through some stuff. He's had a hard time. Maybe there's a bigger one sitting over there. I don't know where he's snagged. I'm gonna go get it. Damn it. All the hell. Damn it, all the hell, boy. I'm gonna go get that thing. Because why not? Why let it go to waste? Get in the damn water. Maybe it's warmer right here. That does feel a little bit warmer. It's not as cold. Actually, it's not as. I'm a nice fish. Look at that. Fish over there jumping. That's a trout. Look, there's a nice He's jumping. What the hell's he doing? I might switch it up. I might put on like a. Some kind of little minnow or something. Look like a trout hitting the top of the water, but who knows? I have caught some trout in here before. I caught a nice trout here last year, actually. I caught a good one. I caught a good one. Let's change up the direction. What these lures are coming in too. That may help. These fish, they see the same thing over and over, coming back to the same spot. That's y'all the big bass. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I'm still sliding down. All them big old bass, they done went back to the main river. I imagine they come way up in here. Way up, because they can just run up his river. They probably run up in here and spawn and make it to babies. Snag. I have to go up and around to get that. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can get my find my. Well, that was a nice fish. He took off. What is that? Oh, a gar. There's a gar. Damn! I wish I had my other camera in here. There's a gar up here. Holy hell! What the hell's going on? <laughs> How the hell did a gar get in here? There's a gar. Up here in the mountains. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Damn. That was new. Damn, I don't know where that jig is. Look at all this good cover over here. I'm over here just oh, look at that. Big small mouth right there. I'm over here exploring. I shouldn't have come over here, really. <laughs> I kind of just blew my hole. But I seen a gar. I just seen a nice size smallmouth. Bluegill over here. Lots of bluegill. There's a fish. <laughs> There's our rock bass. Is that a rock bass? No, it's a, that's a big old bluegill. Big old red breast. <laughs> This is right in front of me. I'm way over here in the damn water. Boy, that's a big old red breast. Let's see if we can get him. He'll probably flop. Yeah, he's flop. Big old pretty red breast, though. We're just bucket fishing right in front of us. <laughs> I can't believe I've seen a gar up here in a mountain river. I just, I'm surprised by that. I might be completely wrong and I ain't never seen a gar up here before. <laughs> that was crazy. What a weird day. <laughs> I've caught a tiny smallmouth. I've lost about a hundred mushroom head jigs. I've blown a fishing spot. 
I fell in the water once. No, I didn't fall in the water, but I may for the days over. And I have caught a bluegill. Yeah. Today has been a weird day. <laughs> it's fun though. I like coming up here. I wish the fishing was a little bit better, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. That's a bit of unrealness right there. There's a good fish. Hey, what's up? Hey, buddy. Oh, come here, buddy. Don't run off on me. Get your hooks in here again. Oh, that's not a smallmouth. <laughs> my camera's over there. But I got my camera on my chest. Oh, come here, buddy. Don't run away on me. Dang it. He's flinging water everywhere. Don't you get away from me. Don't you leave me, buddy. You're the best fish I've seen all day. You're the best fish I caught all day. Heck, I just had to get down here in the water. Catch some of these smallmouth people can't get to. He's over here next to this brush. I may flip around, see if I can catch another one. That's a good looking smallmouth. Very pretty. Not super big, but he's very pretty. I'll take him. Just let him go. <laughs> see you, buddy. Got him wet. I got wet. I don't know. This place is about faded out, guys. I'm just about what. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, ooh. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm on my tippy toes. Oh, my God. That was a big smallmouth. I mean, a burger. He just sitting over here under this long. That was a gazali wobble right there. Y'all see that thing? That was a 35 pounder. I don't know if I caught that on camera or not. Man, that was a big smallmouth. Bait don't know what to do, boys. I played the river out up here. I fished everywhere today, got nothing. Coming in my honey hole, and my honey hole has been ravaged. There was a huge fish in here, but my big dumb button scared him off. I mean, that was a big fish, but I don't know, he ain't hitting. He's been pressured. He's seen everything from the kitchen sink to the commode thrown in here to catch fish. Every time I've drawn by here today, there's been a car. It took me a while where I get in here. I need to go where people don't go. And I know where that is. I just... Scared to leave all my stuff in the car. I really want to. It's like my, my risk reward is make a cool video. I lose all my stuff. And I love fishing. I love making videos. But I'm like, is it worth it? I should have left. I even thought about it. When I left the house, I was like, I need to take that stuff out. And then I was like, nah, I'll just go up there and mess around on the side of the road. I was like, that's if the road's not still washed out. And I got up here and I was like, oh, the road's not washed out. It's awesome. And then I was like, dang it, I know where I want to go. <laughs> and I should have, I should have listened to my gut when I left. Telling me to put my stuff up. I've done been all over the place in that water. I seen a huge smallmouth though. Man, that was a big smallmouth. There he is. Right there. Oh, it's that gar. Oh, I got the. Oh my god, there he is. That gar, I don't know if y'all can see it. I actually wrapped the lure around him. I can't believe there's a gar in here. I mean, that just blows my mind. I accidentally snagged him. Or. <laughs> I can't believe that. I don't know if y'all see that thing, but I mean, I, I can't believe there's a gar in here. I just can't. What is that? Is that a, you can just see him as plain as day. I can't, I don't know. There he is, oh my God. I think I'm snagging him though. 
It looked like he turned on it, but I think I snagged him. I'm gonna leave him alone. I just can't believe. I thought he hit it for a second. I was like, oh my God, I'm about to catch that gar. Ah, I'm harassing him. <laughs> I just been blown away by that. I can't believe there's a gar up here. Now I'm up in the mountains. Got a damn gar up here. It's like, how'd that gar get up here? It must have washed down from the other side of the mountains, or maybe they come up here. Hell, I don't know. I ain't never seen one. He's in there, though. They gonna go. I've never targeted gar. I don't know how to catch them. I don't know what they eat. I figure they eat big stuff. Fish, you know, like big lures. Like maybe I should throw a square bell or something like that through there. There's more gar. There's gar all in here. I'm learning, man, I must be the worst fisherman because I don't know shit about gar and like, look at them guys. We're gonna have to get some underwater footage. I think they, do they come up in the rivers and spawn? Is this normal? Can y'all see them? Hey, y'all can see them, that water's clear. Turn this camera down. They're right there, two gars with each other. Spawning, I guess. That's crazy. I don't know what to throw. <laughs> How do you catch a gar? Like... I don't want to snag them because that's kind of, that's kind of jacked up.